What's up guys? If you can only do one abs exercise for the day, it would be this, bicycle crunches. Now, why bicycle crunches is my favorite? Because this exercise doesn't just work your abs. It works your entire abs, your lower abs, your oblique, and you are burning a lot of calories because this exercise is like bicycle, right? It's like moving, rapidly moving, right? To set this up, first of all, find yourself a comfortable space. And all you need to do is just place your arm behind your head and flare your elbow. Because from here, you're about to lie down and you're about to bring your elbow to your opposite knee, right? Just like this. Okay? Now this is just a step version. It's not a really a bicycle crunch yet. The real bicycle crunches is actually the speed, right? You need to bring up the speed by doing this. That's why we call this the bicycle crunches, right? What's happening here in this exercise is, number one, when you do a bicycle crunches, you have to curl up, right? If you don't curl your torso up, you are just moving your elbow that is like this. By moving your elbow only, you're not really working your abs, right? I don't think you can see any difference here, but what I'm trying to say is, instead of doing this, move your torso, right? Lift your torso to the opposite direction, just like this. Okay, so when you do it fast, it will become an isometric movement because you have to hold into this position So isometric trains your core and also another type of muscle is the endurance muscle. Abs itself is already an endurance muscle, so isometric will help, right? So one more thing is when you do a bicycle crunches, your goal is to contact using your elbow, try touching to your knee, right? Not everybody can do this because of flexibility, right? But here's the tip, when you do this bicycle crunches, try to raise your knee as high as you can. This will allow you to keep your elbow to your knee in contact much easier, just like this. So instead of just raising your knee, try to raise your knee as high as you can, right? This will help the contact point. And raising your knee high, you will use more lower abs muscles and also so-called the Adonis belt, the V line. So this is why this exercise is so awesome. And one more tip guys is, Perhaps some of you, you really did your best, but you still have this issue of not able to rotate your torso. So the tip to rotate your torso easier is when you do a bicycle crunches, try to look sideways, right? For example, instead of looking front, look sideways, yeah? Right? Move your head side to side. When you move your head and you turn your direction, it will also lead to your body movement, right? So there's a twist, there's an isometric crunches, and there is a rapid knee raise going on that trains your lower abs. And combination of all this will burn a lot of calories as well. So we talk about the upper body, you know, the elbow positioning, the crunches, the isometric. What about your feet? Two ways, right? So to get started, right, you want to start from the ground and do one by one first. Get familiar with the movement because the key words here is turning your torso and raise your knee as high as you can, contacting them, right? So once you get used to this, you can bring up the speed. When you bring up the speed, you want to keep your feet off the floor, right? When your feet off the floor, one thing is happening is isometric on your lower abs, right? So you want to do this, see? Feet without touching the floor. Okay, so you got both isometric for the upper abdominal and the lower abdominal. In other words, entire abdominal is firing up. So how many reps you should do for this exercise? 
I would say for beginner, you can do by repetition, right? Half rep, remember one side is half reps. You have to do one, one equals to one rep. I would say do about 10 to 20 repetitions. And once you do 10 to 20 repetitions, you think that you can do better. Use the time, set the time to 20 seconds. Within 20 seconds, do as many reps as you can. And slowly work from there to 30 seconds to 40 seconds. 40 seconds is insane. For me, I already feel the burn if I do more than 20 seconds. And that's how you train with this one exercise. Do about four sets of same bicycle crunches. You can do interval. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, repeat. 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. But for me, still no excuses since you already work out. Must well just add in some push-ups, burpee, some squat, and combine with this, you'll be a killer, right? So I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next post. Peace.